One of the best things about being an independent comic book artist as well as a supporter and fan of indie comics is all of the cool stuff I get from you guys in the mail. Greetings everyone, welcome to the underground lair where we bring our creations to life. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. I'm a professional illustrator, designer, and mad creator. I also create comics. I'm a big fan of comics, in particular indie comics, because indie comics are the greatest, the best. Speaking of indie comics and being an independent comic creator, I have an independent comic book out right now. It is Young and the Dead. It is a kids versus zombie adventure story. It's like Goonies meets Night of the Living Dead, so if you're a fan of all all those old action movies starring kids of the 80s like Goonies, Monster Squad, Explore, E.T., Stranger Things, then you'll dig this comic. Definitely check it out. You can find it at youngandthedead.com. This is the current issue, and I'm doing specials. Uh, I've got certain tiers that have remarks right here where I draw right on the cover. I'm also doing, if you've caught any of my recent live streams, I'm doing some of these sketch rewards. So sketch covers where I draw 80 zombies on them, the zombie Mr. T, zombie punk rocker, there's a bunch more. They're all available in certain tiers of the Kickstarter, but really there's just tons of really cool stuff. So if you've ever got any value out of any of the stuff that I do here on YouTube and you want to help support me and get some really cool stuff in return, then check out youngandthedead.com and that'll take you right to the Kickstarter. But the reason why we're here, we're celebrating independent comics today because I have a bunch of books and, and just indie art and stuff that people have sent me in the mail. Mostly, I think they're all comics actually, which, you know, it seems to, to fit the theme of the show. And because, like I said, I'm just a huge fan of independent comics, um, I just love getting this stuff. I love checking out what you guys are doing. So this gives me an opportunity to share some of that stuff that you guys are doing. So let's dig into this. We're going to open this first one here. This first one is from friend of the show, Frank Salazar. Also, he goes by Salazar Art Nation online. And this, I believe, yeah, okay, here we go. Very cool. This is his, uh, of course, he threw in a bunch of extra. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Before we get to the book. So, uh, last free comic book day, like, I, I just mentioned the kind of books and stuff that I'm into. And some of that stuff, like Stranger Things. Um... I got a bunch of, on Free Comic Book Day, I got a bunch of comics, but one of the books that was already picked through by the time I went to get my comics was the Stranger Things free comic, and uh, and Frank included that here, and also it looks like he drew a little, he did a remark of his own right on the cover there, so super cool. I've been looking forward to reading this story, because I, I pretty much collect most of the Stranger Things comics. So thank you for that, Frank, and of course, we've got Frank's new book. Captain, oh, whoa, here we go. <laughs> Captain Goggles and Mass Woman. This is the first one, the first book that he's actually published in color, which is super cool. And I've just seen the, the progress Frank has done since, you know, he start, first started following me. Now he's doing his own live streams and everything, and he's just come such a long way. And that's just a testament to what can happen when you, when you get involved in communities like this and, you know, and share the stuff that you're doing with other people and get the word out. And it's just, it's just really cool to see what he's putting together so I cannot wait to look at this uh, also Anna Rob is also uh, an artist that collaborates with Frank on this and she did the cover art so really cool thank you Frank I've been I've been waiting to get this for a while and then I got I got a cool sketch here as well so just love getting all this stuff from you guys all right, the next one I've got here is from Brandon Ingram from Dismay Comics. We had him on the Artcasters talking about his book. Ah, hold on, here we go. The Gallows Man. And this is a Kickstarter that I backed. And let's see what we got. Okay, we've got, of course, the, the, he's shipping it in the sturdy comic book mailer, which I love. All right, here we go. Ah, it's sticking in my hand. Here we go. All right, let's see what we got here. The great thing about ordering books with these Gemini comic mailers is that you get you can ship your own you can ship stuff back with it, you know. So I just all these all these Kickstarters I back where I get these mailers, they're really cool. Oh, they're they're kind of hard to figure out in the beginning how to fold them and everything. But, you know, I just can collect these, put them in, and then I can use them again. Awesome. Alright, so here we go. Gal's Man 1 and 2, plus a bunch of extras. And it's a humor comic. It's kind of dark humor. We had him on the show talking about dark humor on the art casters. So I've been looking forward to getting this. Let's see what we got. There's some extras in here. 
All right, so we got some stickers and some bookmarks. So that is super awesome. And I am looking forward to reading these as well. I've got a stack of stuff that I've got to get to. Okay, next up, this isn't a comic, but it is from a comic book creator. This is a Patreon that I backed from a friend of mine, Sean Tiffany, who I had the pleasure of actually hanging out with briefly when I went to Colorado. And, and so he, every month he sends these postcards as part of his, uh, I, think, I think if you just sign up for his newsletter, you can get a postcard uh, just sent to you in the mail, which is cool. But if you back on his Kickstarter, or not his Kickstarter, but his Patreon, let's see if I can open this. All right. You get, uh, you get some extras, which is really cool. You get the postcards plus some, some, oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Very cool. I just love Sean's art. I've been a fan of his. I got introduced to him through, he's a friend of Jeff Lafferty. Um, and then I just started following his stuff and just like, what, man, amazing stuff. And, and then, then this is, so this is the postcard. And he does this every month. You get a postcard, you get sketches, and then somewhere, I don't see it in here. Maybe he didn't have time to do one, or maybe I missed it, or maybe it fell out. But he usually just gives you a little update on what he's doing. So thank you, Sean, for sending these out. And of course, they're signed and everything. So you get just really cool prints, and you get to, I mean, check that out. Man, I dig his art. And I think he's working on a new comic book now. So a lot of this stuff is previews for what he's working on. So awesome stuff. Thank you, Sean. Okay, we got another one. This is from Tyler Jones. And Tyler's been sending me stuff in through email, corresponding me through email, working on, I believe it's, is it Red Barn Comics? Sometimes I get things confused because I've got a lot of creators sending me stuff. But all these, look at all these hand-done mini comics. We got, oh, it looks like there's different color variations here. Man, I just love what you guys are cooking up here. All this handmade stuff, I love that because it just shows me that just you guys are really getting into creating comics and having fun creating comics. Oh, there's another one here. But yeah, just loving all these mini comics. I can't wait to flip through these. So Tyler, thank you for these. These are great. Keep doing what you're doing. All right, I've got another one for you. This one is from, oh, Art by Galen. So Galen Eilenfeld, who I follow online, and just so you guys know, if you're familiar with my comic book series, Making Comics 101, if you've watched all that and you want another ser great series on how to make comics, he has a Making Comics series on his channel. Um, and I think it's just Art by Galen on YouTube. Definitely check that out. But he sent me some of his comic books, and I, we are going to have him on, I think, as I'm loading this, this video up, I think he's going to be our guest this week on the Artcaster, so definitely check that out. But let's see what he included here. Baku Dreamwalkers. Okay, this is the comic book he's been talking about. Oh, wow. Man, this is... It looks great. So he sent me these these three. Oh, and there's some stickers in here. Let's check out the stickers real quick. But yeah, definitely check out Galen's channel. Some, oh man, those are really awesome quality stickers. I'm digging those. And man, the cover artwork is great. Let's let's dive into one of the books itself. And he he's using oh in full color. He's I think he's using Comics Wellspring because they sponsor his challenge uh, challenge his channel. It looks this looks great. Wow. Oh, look at what, and he's got, he's got some cool stuff on Gumroad. I'm going to have to check that out. But definitely check out Galen's stuff. Galen, thanks for sending this. And yeah, definitely check out his channel. All right, here's another one from a creator that I've kind of corresponded with through email and everything. This is from Matt, Mad Cat Case. And oh man, he sent me some, oh, all right. So we got some cool printed mini comics. Here we go. We got a little handwritten note. I'll, I won't read that on the show, but I'll read it in a minute. All right, so we got Warriors of the Mystic Knight. <laughs> that looks really cool. I mean, there's just a variety of stuff here. Hyperia, Portal, and Crypto Number One. Look at that's That looks super fun. This looks incredible. All right. Thank you, Matt, for sending these out. My indie comic collection is just growing like crazy, but, you know, I've got to get some more long boxes, I think. Man, it's just, I, I love all this stuff. I just, like I said, keep them coming. All right, we've got one more. This is from Christopher Runtzman, who we've had on the Artcasters, and I did a whole show based on his single-page comic book anthology, which I just thought was a brilliant idea, and he's just a madman and really productive as far as, as putting out comics and everything. He's just really prolific, and he said he was going to send me some more stuff, so I can't wait to see, because I was so blown away by his 
his his comic anthology, the single page comic book anthology that he did. All right, let's see. Oh man, we got tons of stuff here. All right, look at this. Okay, the apartments anthology. So we got more anthologies. This is number four. That's what I'm talking about. Number fourteen. <laughs> so number seven. So he's been doing this for a while. He's just got so much stuff here. He just publishes all kinds of comics. Here's another one. Number four. He's just going into his back catalog and just giving me tons of stuff that I get to read. Um, let's see. Here we go. What we what? What's this one here? Oh, this is number. This is number four. Did, didn't that already? Maybe it was fourteen. I thought there was a number four. Oh no, there's number four. Okay, what's the difference here? Oh, short story release. See, I mean, there's just so many different titles. Let's see. We got two more here. Uh, Elmwood Eleven, Be Belly of the Beast. Check that out. And then, okay, th there's a note on this. This is my first print of the first book I published with RD back in 2015. 60 books ago, yeesh. <laughs> Look at that. And so this is this is this is going to be a collector's item because this is I don't think there's too many of these left. So I'm going to take special care of this, but I can't wait. And I love what he's doing because he works in so many different styles. Chris does. And check out like this is all ballpoint pen. So I don't know if this whole book is yeah this whole book is ballpoint pen. So cool. And then let's see, let's just kind of dive in. He's publishing other stuff. This is more of a. a I don't think that's done. In, that, that might be ballpoint pen too. It's hard to tell. And then we've got some black and white stuff that he's publishing. I'm not sure if he's the artist on all of this or if he's publishing other people as well. But check that out. This is totally, I mean, everything that he puts out has got a different style to it, a different feel. Just super creative. As well as all the people that I've opened, that I've unboxed here on the channel today. So really, if you are an independent comic creator or you're looking at creating your own independent comic, just go for it. There's so many different ways you can put them together. You've seen all the different styles from just hand done to printed to everything in between. And really nowadays with print on demand or just printing stuff at your local copy shop, it's so easy to get into making independent comics printing them, selling them, giving away, trading them, whatever you want to do. Uh, it, it is just super fun and it's just a creative outlet and, and you know, and some of these guys are really, you know, they're, they're making a living at doing all this cool stuff. So, and you can too. So, so get started making mini comics. Um, also, don't forget my Kickstarter for Young and the Dead is live. Definitely check that out. You can go to youngandthedead.com. And thanks again for everyone who sent me these comics. I just can't wait to dive into them. But that's all I got to say today. I'll see you guys later. That is all. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me at CircWorks on social media. And now you can support the work that I do on Patreon. If you like making comics, then go to CircWorks.com and pick up the Comic Maker Star.